Hello everybody, my name is Wash983 or 4, however you know me, just gonna make sure it's recording. Alright, yeah, voice, I mean, that'd be embarrassing to talk for. 12 something hours. And today, I'm going to teach you how to code an open hexagon. Just because I have seen a considerable amount of packages and it has just gone down. The level of hacks have just gone down and down down and down. I will also start featuring level packs very soon of level packs I like every single week or month. I haven't decided yet. Anyways, here is my level pack and we're gonna make a level together. So this is I haven't released this yet so we'll just continue with that. Anyways, let's actually go to default because everybody has defaults and not my own. And we're gonna just go easy. Nah, not easy. I gotta see if a cool one. What's that freaking, like, uh, I forgot what it's called. I think it's this one. Second dimension. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So we're just gonna copy this and then paste it. And then name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it my own level. So today's tutorial will be about how to modify your level speed, its pulse, all of that. So first, you got your JSON file that you need to open in Notepad, which Notepad was fine, and it can you can easily code in it, and it looks like this. It's pretty true. So we're gonna the things we're gonna focus on today are these basic values, pulse, and we're going to do events and stuff later. So, your level ID is just the ID that you want the level. It really doesn't matter. Just make sure it's nothing else than... Just make sure it's not the same as anything else than what I'm trying to say here. So I'm just going to kind of swash. The name is what it will appear as on the thing. And I don't want it to be second dimension. I'm going to call it third dimension because I want a third dimension level. And then I'm going to put for hard level difficulty, I'm going to put, this is my difficulty. Anyways, author, you know, put your name, this is obviously mine, not V's this time. Menus, well, you know, what, what, how do you want it to show up in the menu? Negative 100, so mine's first, selectable true. The style ID, I, like I said, we're going to ignore all this, but if... You already know how, and you know I don't really care. This is my one of my favorite styles, just because it's basic, fun to use. But if you, I will tell you what these do at least. The styles, how it looks, the colors, the music is self-explanatory, and the Lua is the patterns. We're not gonna mess with the Lua, and I'm not even going to teach you how. If you want to, you can learn the source code yourself. It already has some hard-coded language, language the uh, Lua files in there, which most of us use and I'm pretty sure if anyone does modify it, it's not much. So we're gonna have difficulty multipliers. Whatever difficulties you'd like, I'm just gonna say 1.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.75. Speed multiplier, this is the speed that you want. Basically the speed that it starts off as. Speed increment is when it levels up. How how high does it go? It's obviously 0 0.1 here. So that would be look like that every time it levels up. Go down, you know, etc. Anyways, I'm going to stick with 2 because 2 is obviously a good speed and make this 0 0.2 anyways. Uh, rotation speed? Let's... Rotation speed is how fast it spins. And that's the max of how fast it can spin. So I'm just going to put that as 0 0.8. So it, the fastest it can go is 0 0.8. It will not go faster than 0 0.8. And the speed increment here is 0 0.12. So... I mean, sorry. <laughs> rotation speed increment is 0 0.45. If we're going to make that 0 0.2. Then make the rotation speed just 2. Delay multiplier. 
Um, I'm pretty sure. No, never mind. I know what this one does. Sorry. I'm thinking of that one. The lane multiplier is how fast blocks can come. As in, every second some, a new thing can appear rather than every whatever. Um, if you have it on zero, you're it's impossible. No matter how slow it is, it's impossible. If you don't believe me, I'd show you, but I'm kind of trying to just get through this tutorial like everybody wants me to do. <sighs> Well, some people want me to explain all of it bit by bit, so if you have any questions, leave one below. Delay increment is every time it levels up. What's the delay? Is there even a delay? Delay, delay. Anyway, it's negative, subtracts the delay, because there is a slight delay no matter what, even if it's on zero. Um... No, actually, no. That creates a delay. I'm sorry. I'm being. I'm being stupid. It doesn't really go above negative. Uh, <laughs> what it does is how fast. Like when it starts after it levels up. This basically makes it where it starts after it closes in, and then the next pair comes. You can't take that off. Anyway, it's fast spin. Fast spin is when it is also part of the increment. I don't know why it's not called increment but basically every time it you level up it can go from 1 to 70 of how fast it spins to how it levels up I'm pretty sure it's always 70 I I, I don't really know it's just it's one of those things all right this <laughs> sides is pretty self-explanatory how many sides to have the minimum we can go to the max it automatically does it for you and I just like six sides because that's how the hell it's supposed to be hexagon I mean it doesn't have any it's not pentagon or square or triangle or Octagon. I mean, come on. Increment time. This is how fast your level levels up. We're gonna. I'm gonna do 20. Nah, let's do 15, 12. Fifteen, twelve. Fifteen, twelve. Like I said, rotation speed max is as soon as it reaches that, it will go no higher. Pulse. Pulse. You don't really want to mess with too much. Um, if it's max is over minimum, your thing will actually be smaller or larger depending on how the difference is. I mean, if this is at 10,000, that's 5,000, your day is going to be huge. Um, I've tested it. I mean, it's going to be so it's going to be impossible huge almost. The speed is obviously how fast it goes. The speed rotation, don't really know what the rotation does, but I'm pretty sure that means reverse. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just fucked myself over. Um <laughs> So, and this is the delay. I've never really messed with the delay too much, so I wouldn't really worry about it, guys. The beat pulse is the, you know, the little thing beats in the middle and does that. And the delay, you just always keep the delay that. I mean, I've never changed the delay in any of my levels. And I haven't really seen it change at any other levels. Like, if you go here or here. Let's just go to the tutorial. I don't really care what there. It's, uh, it's not even here. Doesn't even have a pulse. Well, never mind then. Pi. Everyone loves pi. See, it's, even if it's a big difference, look, 23 and 21. I mean, come on. It's not that much. I still don't even know what the difference is. <coughs> so, that's pretty much how we set up this rotation speed, pulse. Anyways, my pulse, let's go say 75 and. Yeah, 9. 90 is good. Anyways, I'd stay between 60 and 90 because those are just preferred levels. If you ever see any other level that's like crazy with their thing, they actually go overboard and do other stuff. And you can mess with this a lot and just figure out random things about it. <clears throat> I mean, you'll notice that a lot of levels, just if you compare them to each other, it's not that much difference. And the smallest difference can do the thing. See how normal compares to the old hard one? This one seems to be like 2.5, or now it's 2. Point something, and this one's just 1.8. I mean, speed increment. I mean, it has no fast spin either. That was really nice of him to do that. <laughs> For normal. I mean, look at there. Look, see? Pulse. <laughs> this used to be um, 70, and... There's not even that much of a difference. The speed, you know, it's all that difference right there. The slightest change can do a lot. So let's say I'm going to say file save and let's load up the game real quick. 
I'll do it in windowed so you guys can see. Uh, I have a laggy computer, so... Window no 3D. There we go. It's gonna be annoying. <laughs> now, I lag a ton while doing stuff, so... Don't hate me. <laughs> Server message 1.92 is out. I know, I have 1.92. Uh, well, I hope so. Oh god, it's gonna be laggy as hell just trying to, like, play this game. I'm just gonna pretend that he doesn't have copyrighted music and play the song. Well, never mind, yes. See, that's awesome. Don't even care. Don't even have to worry about it. Phew. <laughs> Um, da -da 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 -da. Open hexagon. Here we go, open hexagon. We're gonna go all the way to. Pretty sure it's right here. No. Third dimension. This is my difficulty. There it is, right there. If your game doesn't crash, that means you did it right. Go. Oh god, it really is laggy. And here we go. Yeah, you know, that's why I can't play it on my computer. I mean, look how... That's that's definitely possible. <laughs> there's there's no way. No, it's because it's lagging a lot when I'm talking to you guys. I mean, if you look at my level... I hear sound. Okay. Here's my level pack right here. <sighs> here. It's survival, it's... I still haven't made all the theme, color themes yet, so I'm just using... Some of the defaults. This is the only one I've made so far, as you can tell. It blinks green and light blue, and it's tons of fun. And I also copy some people's songs because you know their songs are really cool and just like works well with my levels. I'll release that soon. Anyways. I'm just gonna let you look at it one more time. Whatever you need to copy. If you're gonna copy me, which would be great. Um, time 15.5, 45. Let the mayhem begin. Anyways, that's, yeah, I was looking, sorry, I was looking at the events. Um,. <clears throat> If we go here, I'm going to say this right now before, because people might want to start making their packs now. I will just easily show you how to do this. We're going to go to packs. We're going to make a new folder. Um, the tutorial pack. What your pack's going to need is a is the .json file. Having your pack name, like your the name of your pack that's going to be previewed in the thing, and the priority. That's that's really all you need. It's, it's just copy and paste it. Um, <coughs> the priority is one, obviously, because I wanted me to be first, but that didn't really work. Because uh, people put negative, you know, whatever, 10,000, 10, 50,000. Um, you're gonna need your styles, scripts, music, levels, and events. I really don't see the point of event folder yet, and it's definitely still learning how to code on this game, but I do know how to make music, or you, uh, edit the music, and scripts, and styles. And I will teach you how to use the music and styles in the next tutorial. So, if you really want to, and you really love me for telling you this, I, I would probably rate and subscribe and comment on how good I am at doing this <laughs> because this is my first time doing tutorials as you can see I'm using fraps here and 60 FPS because I'm just you know using the worst computer ever as you could tell getting a new laptop really soon so I will make sure to do music <laughs> the tutorial with my new laptop I mean desktop I'm getting a desktop not my laptop just so that way I can because it requires this program called FUBAR 
you know, well, that's the program I use at least. And another thing called, uh, don't ignore that. Don't don't hate me, YouTube. Don't hate me. Um, uh, I put it in here. O G G E N C two, which this program it it's needed to transfer it and. I'll just show you where to get that, and my recycle bin has a lot of stuff in it because I don't know why, and I play all these games and, you know, have all this cool shit. I, and that's not even half the stuff I have on my computer. I mean, if you're really curious, you know, I have... This is just not... stuff and anime and recommendations. I'll do all that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a good time, and... Yeah, bye. Whatevs.